What's going on guys? Today, we're gonna talk about this thing. So, um, this thing is something for photographers and for videographers, both. My first experience with photography over, I don't know how long I've been taking photos, maybe seven years, right? I suck at photos. It, it only hasn't been until literally like since I got this phone that I have fallen in love with taking photos. This iPhone 15 is like, I think it's better at taking photos than my Sony A6400. Come at me in the comments, whatever, you, whatever. I actually have receipts to show you. So, you know, look at that and tell me what you think is better. Back to what we are here for. This thing here is a white balance sheet or a card. Um, you probably have seen people use this thing. For those of you that don't know what this is, this is a white balance card. It helps you get an accurate white balance for your footage so that you're not like overexposed or underexposed. It will allow you to put your tools to use later when it comes to editing. So like always be thinking about editing when you're filming content. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna color that? And it's always best to have a base and this gets you that base, a safe place in your, con in your footage to really just kind of make sure your editing and color grading and white balancing is all gonna flow and look great. Because you can have awesome footage, but then have crappy, a crappy edit, and no one's gonna care. <laughs> they might not even watch it. So um, this is kind of like just a tool. There's probably many of you out there that have a successful career and you've never used one of these things, and that's totally okay, it's fine. But there are those that are new to the game, and you're gonna learn about this. It's kind of one of those first things that you learn about. So, um, this thing is kind of like just one of those things you put in your back pocket, right? When you wanna use it, you're gonna use it. In those commercial projects that you're gonna work on, you're gonna wanna make sure your footage is perfect and great for the next person. Otherwise, they're gonna grab your footage and who knows what that could lead to. So, um, this thing, I've used it a handful of times and honestly, um, I haven't really implemented a workflow into this, especially like shooting content on the iPhone. I lock my exposure. I don't ever mess with the white balance or anything, I only really use the camera app and I may get into the Blackmagic cam if I wanna mess around and, and manually control things. Um, but for someone that's just using their phone to make their content, you're probably never gonna really need this. On the other side of this is an actual color page or a color side, right? And you also have some slots here for your white balance as well. Um, so it's kind of like all in one, everything's right here. Um, what, what's great about this is that you can pick and choose your colors in like DaVinci Resolve and make sure that they're accurate. You know, when you're adjusting, color grading, before you put your own mix and your flavor in your color grade, it's best to have a solid color foundation, make sure everything's, you know, aligned with this. Um, there's also in DaVinci Resolve, there's a part um, in the color wheel section where you can actually like find this brand, Spider Checker, and it will allow you to like just click some buttons and it will do it for you. Now you might have to adjust and do some things, but it's pretty like straightforward. So um, 
I highly recommend you know using this, especially if you're a beginner, and at least just learning how to use this in your edit, and you'll be surprised about you know how much I guess. Uh, like, I guess how much you probably will never use it because I don't use it and just for me personally because I, I'm not in the commercial space I'm not working with all these big clients and things like that so I don't use it that much unless I want to use it then I'll pull it out so that's just the boat I'm in you know for yourself you might be in a different situation and it might this might work for you so um, you can order this on Amazon it's pretty expensive um, I'll put uh, a screenshot of this where you can at least you know see and where you can buy it from but wanted to share this with you guys because it's certainly one of those tools that you know you may or may not use but it's helpful information and if you find this helpful hit the like button also consider following me for more tips and tricks and edits and color grading and production and video content drop a comment below let me know if you use this or not love to hear from you anyways you guys take care we'll see you in another video peace